Good afternoon, folks. We are here at Booker T. Washington. Explore your own self. There are things that you need to touch and address. And these classes is gonna help you do that. Come on, follow me. And we are right now having a little bit of lunch before we continue into our storyboard. So come on in. This is Greg Lesnar. I'm here at Booker T. Washington for the first Afrocultural Preservation Workshop. Uh, our folks are, the singers are in there from all over the San Francisco Bay Area to learn their vision boards and their quest for wellness. And teaching them about the wellness that we all should be here. So we're asking for permission for the elderly in the room to begin. Do you want to give us permission to start again? Sure. Okay, do we have permission to start? We're going to call for our answers. Yes. So we're going to call for the answers in the room to enter with us. And in Africa, they don't start meetings unless they call in the strength that has built them because that's who's standing on their shoulders. So we ask for them to join us in each room. Uh, my sister is Florence Johnson. Uh, how does that go? Okay. Huh? There it comes. Rose B. Smith. Magdalene Hatchet. Uh, my brother's name was uh, Vandina. Julia Hester, Andrew Hester, Whisker Kill. At the end, it's either like Amen or Asha. We call our ancestors down is that hopefully, as we ascend, they, our children, and our children's children, will call our names as well. We're doing to do is an African ritual, okay? We're doing, and when we start a room in an African ritual room, we don't do anything without knowing that, you know, we are attached to some other realm because our parents have, you know, festered us in what we're living through now. So we're living through their path. So that's why we call them in. wired differently the proper way. God has only wired us the way we're supposed to be. And so Jacqueline Harvey, she's our one of our facilitators, okay? And then Jules Hatton, when you see him on there, he's on the line, and he's the project coordinator. We have Denise Coleman who's going to video video graph this whole we have other two members and they like to introduce themselves. Mm -hmm. I don't want to call them out. You know, we're not, we're not in the past that. I'm, I'm Greg Ledbetter. I'm a part of the community also. <laughs> Let be Okay. So I'm not, I'm not even, okay. So uh, our team is based on my consultant group, um, who recently was awarded an Afrocultural Preservation Mini Grant. Okay. Not sure whether you guys know that there's this big, huge initiative that's going around, right? And it's going through London Bridge Drink Keepers. Keeper Initiative, okay? So the Dream Keeper Initiative is to improve the outcomes of San Francisco's Black and African American youth and their families, and will provide family-based navigation support to ensure that all needs of all family members, right, are addressed cohesively and comprehensively. With this coordinated approach, the Dream Keeper Initiative aims to break the cycle of poverty and involvement in the criminal justice system for families in its city programs and to ensure new investments, um, including in youth development. So that's why we're sitting in a youth development building. I know it's an overall economic opportunity, um, community-led change. So that's what we're hoping this is going to be, all right? Um, arts and cultural workforce and home ownership are accessible to San Francisco families who are in need, all right? I miss this player because he's kind of like the backbone here for the singer. I appreciate the zealous and the, fourth, uh, the, the inspiration that he has. Present to your future life, you know, if you ever, if you, if you know me, you'll know that I turn things around, right? So it was 
trust the process. I said, nah, I want y'all to trust the vision. All right? And then what I need you to do is hold on to the process. Hold on to the process. Like, here's my vision. I see me getting here. I can see it. Not that I'm, it's just like, oh, look here. No, I want you to see it. All right? And then I want you to do something that holds on to that process so that you can reach it. We're all one body. Here's our brain, but our body has to function with that brain, so we're going to have to keep doing something. And I'm going to give you a tip right now, right? If we don't use it, we're going to lose it. Yeah. And yeah. again, to continue to stretch, that means my muscles will not, they will go into active, meaning that I will not be able to make sure that I have an annual checkup. I want to make sure that I have a mammogram. If I'm male or not a male, but the males who's in the room, right? They want to make sure that their prostates are okay. I'm just, I'm just, yeah. I don't get what's going on right here, mm -hmm. correct? I can't function through the back. That's why you said I, I do meditation. You can describe it as health versus, you know, physical. You can describe, you know, finances, family, relationships. And I'm on this page right here. Career, you know, knowledge. So, like, uh, you wanted to pursue more education or another skill or something like that, you know, what lifestyle would you like to have and who do you want in? That's the most important part. But I want to make sure, look, look, it still has the four, four components, right? It's physical, mental, spiritual, and financial. Those must go along. Whatever, whatever vision you're trying to see. Okay, I'm telling you, right? And then things to try. Maybe y'all want to try new things. Do you know what I mean? What's the goal for this month? You know I mean? And the reason why I'm giving you these sheets, right, is if you write on them nicely, next week when you come back, you could actually cut them out and you ain't got to rewrite the word again. <laughs> now, map out what this board is going to look like. But before you do that, because you're going to say, well, what, okay, she gave me all these instructions and I got eight things I'm supposed to fill out. So which side of the board do you want? Now, here's the biggest board we have. We have a trifold. Okay? You know, you're not going to put much on it. That means, hey, I might be doing, you know what I want to do. So you guys have choices. So based on what you think you want, right, then you can start mapping out what this board is going to look like. There's no need to change. Nothing about this. Okay? All we have to do is see it, trust that process, trust that vision, walk into it, right? And I promise you, you definitely have health, you definitely have family, all right? Depending on biological, non-biological, wherever, but you'll have family, all right? You'll have enough work. Oh, Lord, you have enough work. You ain't got to worry about it. <laughs> you know, oh, I'm looking for a job. Oh, he has plenty of jobs for us, okay? And then more importantly, you're going to have fun. I put money all the way down here because he's not concerned with money. I better hear. I'm at Booker T. Washington, a multicultural center based here in the, in the Western Edition area, offices, uh, offices and classrooms, children, teens, and children as well as adults. Games for children to play, beautiful view of the city, and these programs are put together by the Dreamskeepers Initiative a program that Mega Black is putting together to share the uh, reparations of the San Francisco Police Department and put back into our African American uh, uh, community the education, the healing, the process that we need to turn around and be whole, well bodied community members. We uh, are here. Yeah. Very apprehensive and very uh, positive in its message. We've gone too far for so many years being oppressed and depressed because of what people are t telling us and thoughts that are going through our own head. It's time for us to re educate and start thinking more of a positive way and start healing some of those things that we had been traumatized for so many years. He'll be hosting Paint and Heal. That'll be from 11 to 3 o'clock p.m. with uh, Yoga to Bend Positive Vibes, April 5th. Uh, same time, 11 to 3. Uh, adult Coloring is next, coming on May 4th. And Spoken Word, June 8th. They're gonna close their, their um, 
series of workshops with ceramics on June 15th. Been a member of Pretty much close to when I first moved into uh, the John Burton housing. As I said, I really wasn't aware. I didn't live in the Western Edition. I lived over closer to USF on Stanion Street. So I was really involved with some of the volunteer stuff over there and in the Presidio. Um, and I used to go by this place and didn't even realize that it was here. And then like um, miraculously, when I needed help, here it was. So yeah, I mean, I, I got a place to live, but also then I discovered this community. And so I've been able to volunteer, food pantry for special events, just all kinds of wonderful things. So, uh, so you're lucky. Uh, you here at uh, Booker T. Washington. What do you think of this class that we'll be putting on right now? I like it a lot. I wasn't sure what I was going to feel about it, mm -hmm. but I do believe in personal responsibility. That's what this is about. Mm -hmm. It's up to us. There's nobody going to ride in here on a white horse and save us. We're who we're waiting for. And this is a class that teaches us about that, you know, about our, our spiritual life, our mental life, all of that. That's on us. We have a choice to be happy. You know, we have the, the we have the choice to to make things work in the way that we would like them to, and this is a class that is giving great ideas and tools to make that happen. Well, Kathy, thank you so much for coming out to participate with us today, and I hope that you continue to come to the other um, series of events that are coming up in Booker T. I've really, it's been meaningful to me. So, folks. Please, if you guys are available to walk these next six months, come on out to Booker T. Washington and look, tell him Greg he sent you. And if you see this man over here, tell him hi. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> the one behind the camera, camera is our activities director here, Frederick Martin. Frederick, how are you doing this fine day? I'm doing wonderful. I'm doing wonderful. It's a great turnout for the vision board with Tanya and team and Greg and June and Denise, Denise. Okay. Um, wonderful, wonderful team. I can tell the uh, elders are really excited and enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. I was thinking about what I'm going to do for my vision board. So I'm participating too as well. But anyway, it's, it's, it's a wonderful, wonderful um, foundation that has been set. I'm really looking forward to uh, next week. If you live in the neighborhood, District 5, anywhere in the city, you're welcome to come. Uh, my telephone number is 415-513-9831. My name is Freddie Martin, and I'm the Senior Wellness Coordinator. Our address is 800 Presidio Avenue, and we really look forward to seeing you. I, I come on out, get in touch with your people, get in touch with yourself, and enjoy what the Afrocultural Preservation Workshops are all about of. So, Fred, thank you for what thank you do, you. man, and you guys have a good day. Thank you. Thank you for Thank you so much.